think it's a highly uh, women centric film it, is, it has also shown the collective power of women and what it can do because the final struggle the final fight there are 3000 women in this jail it's politically an extremely important film uh, what i would like to say thank you very much because only you could have made a film like this hello and welcome to women news today i'm going to have a discussion on women representation in the super hit film jawan to have this discussion with me i have with me feminist activist shabnam hashmi we're going to talk about the strong female characters in this film and the political relevance of the film and we're also going to ask whether films like this have real life impact or not so please watch this video till the end this is the women news channel on this channel i bring women related news with a journalistic rigor and feminist perspective jabnam welcome to women news thank you let's talk about the movie jawan it is already a super hit and people love it and um, i have been seeing a lot of reactions about it different people have different reactions but i saw your tweet and you talked about the women characters in the film so and a lot of other people also told me some of my friends told me that there is a strong presence uh, of a single mother in the in the film which is very unique which is not something that we socially accept that easily so uh, so that and there are other characters so just uh, elaborate a little bit about the female perspective in the film well i think it's a highly uh, women centric film and uh, for a change away from the saas bhi kabhi bahu thi we are seeing women in very important roles and it is the women and not one or two i mean six women who are Uh, playing the most important characters but apart from them uh, there are 3000 women if i am not mistaken with the number who are oh. actually fight, fighting against the injustices which are happening uh, in the society so okay. while sharukh khan of course is the hero and in two roles not one of the father and the son hmm. but he is supported and uh, uh, there is no way that he could have done it alone if these women were not there fighting uh, uh, against what has happened in their lives on issues okay. which they have faced so you mentioned first you mention a single mother yes that's that's a very important point because usually bollywood if they say they would show that the husband had died somewhere or something had happened and now you know the woman bechari is a widow yeah. and that this hero decides to marry her it is not yeah. that she right. makes it very clear that she had an affair and uh, she had the option of uh, marrying that man or continuing with her pregnancy and she chose the child over the man and wow. she has a child she has a child uh, from her affair with somebody who is not mentioned and then uh, they decide to get married so the daughter is right. a very important part of this woman's life right uh, which which is as you said is not shown in bollywood because right. our society does not uh, you know look very nicely towards the single women single women so here the single even, woman is is celebrated the, and she, yeah. and she yeah. is in a very yeah. important role she right. is you know she is a she is at a very high position who is investigating she is like a i don't know i mean uh, she is like an investigative uh, you know director of an investigating agency okay so a very important role right and and single mother not just and single mother who has been in a relationship and chosen to keep her child and did not marry okay. not like some widow or not a divorcee but a, a a relationship where she chose her daughter over the marriage that is like really yes. really path breaking uh, depiction and also and also she is not apologetic about it she is not, not apologetic she is she is trying to hide something or you know right. she is ashamed of it no this happened here is my daughter if you want to you know marry then and in fact uh, in fact when you know there is the the tradition of seeing uh, the girl or the boy yeah here, it is the daughter when uh, the hero goes there i mean because he's being asked to look and uh, decide on marrying a girl 
Right. So the girl is not there. The the woman to be married is not there. And the daughter says that, you know, I'm here because finally I'll select because I have yeah. to select a father. Okay, right. And my mother so is daughter. So it's the daughter who is actually playing that role where uh, dekhne, ladka dekhne wala jo, you know, the role is the yes. daughter is doing. And if, if, if you click with me, then it'll work for my mother. Right. Otherwise it won't. Right. Because for or the mother, the daughter is the very is very important. And also the yeah. fact that, you know, I mean, in the traditional way, it is a very important day. Boy and girl have to meet each other for the marriage. But it is very important. I mean, the mother is busy. She is in her office doing okay. a very important task. So she cannot be there. So that itself is very important, you see, that because itself, it is yeah. assumed yeah. it is assumed that the woman would drop everything, everything. which is important, her work, her career, everything. And, you know, just be a docile woman who would agree to or who would be accepted by the boy's family to get married or not get married or rejected or accepted. Yeah. So that itself is very important in the film. Yeah. And also that by marrying this woman, somehow the hero is, say, is saving her from a life of, you know, singlehood. That also aspect is also because like she's like, I have other important thing. But if it clicks with my daughter, then yes, fine, let's go ahead. So it's like yes. a very strategic yes. A very strategic decision on her part where she's keeping a job. It's really amazing. I think, you I think about... hats, hats off to the director. Yeah, hats off absolutely. To the because ultimately, yeah, yeah. I mean, Shah Rukh Khan is, of course, Shah Rukh Khan must have decided that he wants to do this film. And uh, it's a very bold film. But after all, what characters will, you know, what will happen to the characters, their life, what kind of portrayal. That is decided by the director and the whole absolutely. team. The treatment of the of the character, yeah. How yes. you treat that character is absolutely on the with the director. And you also talked about these six women, special women, like the central characters, you said six, is also very amazing because half of the time we have totally male-centric movies where only the hero and then there's a the villain, then there is a hero's brother and hero's father. And the women are like hardly even present. Like they don't even get enough lines or screen presence and here we have six women characters which you said is very centrally significant right they're very significant and apart from their six there are others also but right. these six i mean every of every action which is being done i mean you can of course have a debate because the way to solution is shown through violence and through hijacking and all that that's a different thing because it is after all a bollywood and a mix of uh, yeah, south yeah. indian yeah. Masala film, so all action that is there, film, yeah. action film. But there are these six women. I mean, stories of all the six are not told. But one woman, uh, Kalki, yes, she is the daughter of a farmer who committed suicide because he could not pay his debt. So through right. her, she she is part of the team which is recovering the money from. Uh, from the uh, industrialists who are totally controlling the government and politics and whose loans are being, you know, uh, pardoned right. off by, by the bank in crores. Right. Right? And also the fact that when a farmer buys a, a tractor, That's the right. percentage of loan is more for the farmer than for an industrialist who is taking a loan. The, by, the the yes. the interest on the loan yeah the interest interest yeah. on the loan is, yeah right. and and then that you know through that one girl the whole struggle of that farmer's family is shown to i mean to that point where he commits suicide and it has been done i would say i mean a lot of people are saying that you know questioning on the art side of the film but i think it has been portrayed so well and so artistically it is and it is extremely moving the kind of uh, humiliation which a poor farmer faces at the hands of those who come to extract the you know the money back right. uh, and and the way he is uh, forced to commit suicide because there is no other way and then this girl joins you know she is one of the most important characters in in the hero's uh, team right. which actually right which actually, you know, it, um, forces them to pay back all the money. And that that money is in crores of rupees is used to 
wave off the loans of all the pay off the loans of all the farmers right so they yes. you and the other girl other girl who is playing a hacker she's a she's a genius in terms of her uh, qualities of being a tech you know she's yes. she's an expert it's not that there is some man or a young boy who is an expert in tech yeah. this is young girl who is an woman expert woman hacker yeah woman very hacker. interesting character and she she is the one who is operating all this you know the of course sharukh khan is negotiating with the yeah. with the minister with to get back this money from the industrialist right but ultimately ensuring that this money comes to the bank Oh, we will not give away the uh, will not give spoilers here <laughs> but yeah so oh, i uh, let's let's so not give i'm spoilers. saying yeah, yeah i'm saying that this girl again a very strong character and yeah. and yeah. a professional yeah. so it is not any girl and right. the third very important character is of dr iram who is actually uh, playing kafil khan's story yeah actually so, that brings so in me, the, yeah so that in the brings, hospital where the children are dying in hundreds and uh, the government refuses to send the oxygen cylinders finally she buys the cylinders she brings them somehow yeah, but yeah, then yeah. there is a case put on her and put she goes to jail yeah, yeah right actually shamnam this brings me to the next uh, topic that i want to discuss is the political a story this film has touched like a lot of people has pointed out that this is dr iram is actually dr kapil khan story with a slight change in gender and there are several other the farmers suicide like you mentioned there are several other latest contemporary political issues the film has touched and i have a lot of people told me that they felt theory eyed uh, uh, watching these uh, contemporary issues portrayed so i wanted to ask you what do you think is the political significance of this film oh, it's politically an extremely important film and i don't think that we have uh, you know a film which has raised so many questions in one film and very boldly of course i won't say that this is the only film because i recently saw abba and i thought that was a very strong and very important film but the fact that somebody like sharukh khan who has a huge following while films are being made which are political and which can expose a lot of things what are happening in the country but since they do not get a viewership they are yeah. important somewhere i mean they are very important films but their reach becomes very limited right the fact that sharukh khan has such a huge following fan following across india and even outside so and then making all these political issues taking you know taking them on is very important the film has taken very boldly the issue of the uh, uh, the corruption in uh, you know in uh, doing the um, in signing the contracts for buying arms and armaments and as a result because you have you know paid money to a to a firm which does not know how to um, how to manufacture guns mm. and those don't work right. and then our jawans are dying not because they cannot fight not because they are not you know bold enough or they are not patriotic but because you have compromised on the equipment that you are giving them and this is also yeah. contemporary we have heard so much about this yeah. in in the present india so all the issues which are there Uh, are very very important whether it's a farmers issue or uh, the you know i mean yes it is the story of kafil khan but it is also the story of the whole covid period when people died because there yeah. were no oxygen cylinders yeah. mm absolutely so it, and does there it are also, many other issues. does it also touch upon uh, secularism issues hindu muslim conflicts does does it go there at all uh, in the uh, any not well it does because in 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 the end the the monologue monologue is a very powerful monologue where he says that you know the elections are around the corner and when you vote ask your government do not vote in the name of religion or caste he says it very right. clearly yeah and then ask the government ask that's ask as the direct government. as it can get yeah yes and he, he says ask your government what it is going to do in the coming 5 years for your education for your health just do not blindly vote for them so it touches upon almost 
all the questions and and very strongly very very right. strongly it's not and that I, you are yeah it's not that you are hiding behind a screen you are confronting every issue bluntly and boldly boldly yeah and i think also it's also both in terms of when we make these political uh, statements messages through a film and also women's representation women's uh, you know kind of depiction of women, uh, strong women characters like you said when it happens via such a uh, you know commercially successful action film i think that is more uh, that becomes more relevant because again we do have films where strong women characters are shown but when the reach their reach is not so much and when the same thing happens through a action film usually the you know commercial action films really again are very masculine very hyper masculine and male dominated so that is also something very significant so no, and, uh, yeah and also i just want to also you see one is that yes these six six uh, women are there around sharukh khan who are making every operation possible whether it is you know hijacking the trucks with the money uh, which was going to be distributed to the people for buying votes or whether it is the uh, getting the money out of the industrialists for the farmers but apart from these six women you know it is it has also shown the collective power of women and what it can do because the final struggle the final fight there are 3000 women in this jail of you know this is a jail of who, the younger sharukh khan is the jailer jailer and they come and fight right so they, it it shows the collective uh, you know uh, the strength of women and when they decide to fight back a system which is uh, which is decaying yeah. then what it can and i think uh, i also wrote in the in my tweet which you mentioned that it is a very strong signal to political parties also to political opposition because mm. i was mentioning yesterday also that you know we have seen the all the committees which india alliance has yes. formed you hardly see women there yeah they just two three women so if if anybody if any political party whether it is the centrist or leftist or any other political party if they think that the struggle for safeguarding secularism democracy our constitution can be fought with without women they are mistaken they are mistaken women have to be yeah. part of the yeah. whole struggle because Absolutely. ultimately it is the women who suffer the most anything that happens it is the yeah. women who whether it is caste violence whether it is communal violence whether it is poverty demonetization whatever is happening in the country ultimately, ultimately whether it is a war whether it is a war where young young uh, sipahis young uh, you know army men are dying it is ultimately the widow and her children who would suffer Suffering, because yeah. of the war mm. so women yeah. have to be made a part of the whole struggle to reclaim india and reclaim the indian constitution absolutely and i also think that even like the movie is largely inspired by real life as we can see we can, i i also think that in the last uh, two you know last 8 to 9 years we have seen that women have been at the forefront of so many uh, political struggle against the powers that be against authoritarianism be it the caa anti caa movement or even in the media we see a lot of strong women journalists who are constantly who are Absolutely. who have perhaps been at the most forefront uh, in taking on the powers that be right Absolutely. so i think that's also very significant right and also i want to i mean yes that's extremely significant i also want to mention specially deepika padukone padukone is making a, a which is called a, a, i mean it's not a full fledged role she comes in for very yes guest appearance, appearance or whatever, whatever they are calling it yeah her role is so important and she is so good in that you know it's a, it's a very small role but her acting uh, it's excellent what she has done and again again even through that even through that you know an army officer who has exposed corruption in the deal for buying equipment he is killed uh i mean at least the people think that they have killed him okay. and then then they put a charge on him that he was supplying information to the enemy right. and and put the and they make the wife as accomplice the yeah. fact that she does not give in 
she doesn't give in she fights right. back she fights she's arrested back. she's she's put in the jail everything but if you look at her even when she's going to the gallows she's you know she's hung hmm. but i remembered for a moment you know i i took me back to bhagat singh that it yeah. was he was not afraid he knew he was dying for the right cause that he was being killed when he was fighting for the right cause and there is this uh, you know aura on her face and that is remarkable amazing they have not shown her uh, you know becoming docile or her becoming afraid yeah. of what is happening to her she fights back till the end yeah and that's i think that's very important yeah absolutely i think one of the most uh, common uh, threads that i'm seeing that you narrated is that all these character all these women despite several hardships and their situations in life they are all fighting back they are not afraid and they are not abla naris they are not like the women they're not abla naris at all ha huh, they're not they're not like damsels in distress jinko hero aake bachayega which is commonly our theme okay chamnam uh, we are running out of time i'm moving on to the last uh, segment that i want to discuss is do you think the film films like this will have an impact on the nation's youth actual real impact on nation's youth i did have some of the people that i spoke to say that well you know we it gives hope that maybe the modern generation of youth will see these films and they will think they will have reflection what do you think no it will definitely have an effect it will definitely have an effect also the timing of the film you see probably 5 years ago maybe the film wouldn't have had so much effect now that people have finally started realizing what is happening in the country and also i would say that uh, you know rahul gandhi's bharat jodo yatra that started changing the atmosphere in the country people started realizing what hate is doing and the strength and the power of love and mm-hmm. of being together so i think that this has come at the right time also apart from the fact that it's a very strong film it's a very bold film it's done very well and again i would say that along with sharukh and his following hats off to the director also yeah uh, he has done a very good job and all the women the the fact that women are so important characters in it it will have a very big impact i live in dwarka i saw it in a mall in dwarka two days ago mm. and in dwarka which is considered a place which is right wing if we yeah. had people whistling and clapping uh, at the end of the film especially right. the last monologue it shows that you know the film is going to have an impact yeah it is going to have it brilliant uh, we are like really thankful to sharukh khan it's also produced by gauri khan uh, i suppose yes, so yes, so yes, it's right. not just so i think let's not forget that yes. also that she has put in her money and and she's taken on no, no, it is it is definitely a decision which has been taken together by gauri khan by sharukh khan it's a very by, conscious decision by the, yeah by the director to do this film and whoever mm-hmm. is i i'm sorry i've forgotten who has written it whoever has written it whoever has you know penned down the story yeah, and the, the dialogue story. yeah right everything together yeah. of course it's it's not a it's not a art film and i don't think an art film would have had the impact uh, like this film yeah, has had yeah that's exactly what i'm saying that are both for social impact political impact and also from feminist perspective i personally also feel that you have to give the message through a commercial film yes art film are you know respectable but you, you need, need to the, yes you need the language, language which people understand so the, the reach, this is yeah yeah that's the language the the form which people are looking at and the reach because of sharukh khan of course yeah absolutely actually you know it also comes it also it relates to the populism on the whole like what we what we have in you know in the in india is a radical right populist party which is all the time rousing popular sentiments and mass appeal so i mean and you can take that mass appeal to different directions you can take it to a positive direction you can take it to a you know negative direction you could hey you could rouse the hate and violence or you could also actually bring uh, positive changes but popular sentiment but touching the popular uh, heart is i think is important be it in politics or be Very it in important. cinema or be it in any kind of activism so uh, 
I Thank think you it's, so a, it's, much, it's yeah. a must must watch film for everyone. Excellent. Do you want to give a message to Shahrukh Khan uh, through this? So you have ten well, minutes. Shahrukh, the video will come if, to. Yeah. If Shahrukh Khan is uh, going to watch it, well, I would. I, what I would like to say, thank you very much, because only you could have made a film like this. Only if uh, you were there, uh, you know, in the in the lead role. Only then, so many lakhs of people would see it and be, uh, you know, influenced. And it's very important. It's very important that uh, in present times to speak up against what is wrong. People like us, activists keep on shouting, but nobody listens to us. So we are, I'm very happy that there is a commercial film which takes on the issues which are very important to be, uh, very important to be confronted. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. I don't know if Shahrukh Khan will watch it, but let's hope. Let's hope that it reaches him. Thanks a lot, Shabnam, for giving your time to me for this, uh, for Women in Gender News. And I'll see you again sometime soon. Sure. Thank you so much.